Welcome to this installation video one about how to efficiently locate and connect the IPS8 air percher in an ammonia plant. The IPS8 installation is split into three small videos, which includes video one showing how to correctly locate, connect and support the IPS8 in an ammonia plant. Video two showing how to correct the lift, fix and connect the IPS8 to relevant piping and video three showing how to do electrical wiring of the IPS8. In these videos, we'll give you important installation tips ensuring a safe and reliable system operation. So go ahead and check out the IPS8 installation video, which will meet your needs. In this IPS8 installation video one, we will show you warnings related to installation of IPS8, how to identify the connection locations for IPS8, how to correctly set up connection points for IPS8, and how to correctly prepare and design the support constructions for IPS8. When installing the IPS8, it is very important to pay special attention to the given warnings. Here you see listed warnings related to mechanical installation of the IPS8, which you can also find in the IPS8 user guide. Please also pay attention to warnings related to flange welding and electrical installation of the IPS8. This is handled in separate IPS8 installation videos. Here you see an image of the IPS8 as well as an IPS8 demo model and the key components, which are compressor, self-straining heat exchanger, also known as the evaporator, condenser, pressure transmitters and temperature sensors, electrical box for controller and solenoid valve wiring, flange connection for the ammonia refrigeration system, blow-off pipe connection, and LLS electronic liquid level switch. The ammonia flange connection, the blow-off pipe connection, and the LLS electronic liquid level switch are the only mechanical connections to and from the IPS8. And it is important to know the locations of these connections, together with the location of the electrical connections to and from the electrical box, so that you can do a correct and safe mechanical and electrical installation of the IPS8. You can find more information about the IPS8 design in the IPS8 user guide. Here you see indicated the IPS8 located in an ammonia refrigeration system. The correct connection locations of the IPS8 are shown here for a low pressure liquid level controlled installation, and they are on top of the receiver or on top of the liquid in the drop leg from the condenser. Alternatively, here you see the location of the IPS8 in a high pressure liquid level controlled installation. You can find more information about the IPS8 connection locations in the IPS8 user guide. As factory default, the IPS8 is configured to manage up to eight perch points. This is shown in these examples. The actual number of perch points connected should be set up in the IPS8 controller after power up of the IPS8. This is handled in a separate online IPS8 configuration video. You can also find more information about the IPS8 connection points in the IPS8 user guide. It is also possible to set up the IPS8 for just one perch point. This is shown in these examples. In such case, you do not need any perch solenoid valve. As just mentioned, setting up perch points should be done in the IPS8 controller after power up of the IPS8. Again, this is handled in a separate online IPS8 configuration video. You can also find more information about the IPS8 connection points in the IPS8 user guide. When installing the IPS8, it is very important to ensure that it can be mounted on a support construction as shown and specified here. This means that the support construction should be able to carry 100 kg or 221 pounds, and for the IPS8 UL version, 125 kg or 256 pounds. It also means that the support construction should be level and that there should be sufficient clearance around the IPS8 for easy service access and sufficient fan cooling. You can find more information about the IPS8 support construction in the IPS8 user guide. Preparing a correct support construction is shown in the following sequences. You have now completed the IPS8 installation video one, so now you know where to find the warnings related to IPS8 installation, 
You know how to identify the connection locations for IPS8. You know how to correctly set up connection points for IPS8. And you know how to correctly prepare and design the support construction for IPS8. All this ensuring a correct and safe system operation. Please check out the other online videos about IPS8 installation. You can also scan the QR code shown here to access more information about the IPS8, such as the IPS8 user guide. Have a look at the other online learnings about the Danfoss IPS8 air percher. Thanks for watching.